right here, and this is, um, the, uh, mystery box I ordered from, well, let me just open it, because they probably have their card inside, so it says open here, and you're looking at it probably upside down. I'm trying out my new, uh, tripod I got in the post today, um, Obviously, this is probably, um, I think, if I remember correctly, a Christmas theme, so I'll be uh, uploading this, obviously, before Christmas, so I'll have to rearrange or add some, or rearrange my video schedule, or just add it as a new video on a different day thing, so, it's kind of hard not, like, videoing this with the camera in front of me, because the camera's right next to me instead, so hopefully this is good. Ooh, it's kind of hard, and look at that, those little... A little Volvic sticker. I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, look at that. It's a Christmas card. Hopefully. Ooh. Happy Holidays, Trainer. Thank you so much for uh, gifting us with your support. We greatly appreciate everything. Uh, love, patience, and feedback. We hope this holiday mystery box brings you joy. Have an amazing holiday along with an awesome new year. Many thanks and warm wishes. Uh, um, Crystal and Lionel, maybe? I am sorry, I can't really read that. Um, they included their uh, Eclipse Inc. Uh, P.S. Here's a special thank you gift. Well, that's nice. We got a Beedrill sticker, and this is their little card thing, so, oh that's cute, good evening, <laughs> and Eclipse Veil, that's what it was. So I'll leave their Instagram and Etsy uh, links in the description box below. So that's awesome, I'm just going to take the tape off so I don't tape the card shut. <laughs> It's nice. The uh, the PS is in a special uh, sparkly uh, like gel pen. Pretty. Um, anyway, um, yes, I'll be sticking this in my uh, Pokemon scrapbook with you know Pokemon stuff. So I'll just put the usual thing in here, safekeeping, and that so I don't lose it. And the special gift was a Guardians Rising. What's it called? Dollar Tree Pack. And like, obviously, I'm not in America, so I don't actually have any Dollar Tree, because there is no Dollar Tree, because it's the wrong currency. So, let's open this up and see what it is. And I can't remember if I've actually opened up any of these, I did buy, like, little things of Dollar Tree Packs ages ago, but they might have been XY stuff, so I'll keep this pack art for my little thing, and obviously on each of these it has like an advert, so that's for the XYZ, am I even in camera? XYZ uh, TV episodes, and here's for the Click Battle and Trade, uh, just the regular TCG stuff. So, um, I think it was the middle goes to the back, so I'll just put that one in the front. Oh, so we got a Fire Energy. A Barboach and a Probo Pass. But it is a rare, so that's okay. I think that's um so obviously in these Dollar Tree packs you don't really know what you're gonna get, and since it's only three cards. But to get at least a rare is good stuff, I believe. So just put that off to the side. And we've got some red tissue paper, very festive. And, as always, the lovely bubble wrap, which is very useful. <laughs> There's nothing else in here. Just put this off to the side. And here we have it. So lovely. I uh, got a ho 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 sticker, and I'm totally being weird and keeping this. So I like stickers. Ooh, there's another sticker. Okay, can I take this off? Well, I can always re-stick it somewhere. 
Huh. There we go. I took it off. Look, these little trees. Okay, I'm totally being weird, probably. So I'll just stick this inside. So we got a ho 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 there. Huh. And this will. I'll, I'll stick it better with tape after. So, like, I'm totally being weird, probably, aren't I? But, as I said, I'm keeping it. So, we'll just stick this in here so I don't lose it. Oh, hey. Yes, I keep many strange things these days. Or, in general. Okay, so here we have... Okay, I, I, I won't keep that, because I won't have anywhere to put it. But, um... It's nice that it's all wrapped. I, I sort of want to keep the wrapping, to be honest, but... Since... I don't think I've ever seen this design of wrapping paper. But... Oh! Oh! That is so festive and so cute! Look at it! It's wrapped in a bow! I don't want to take the bow off, it's so pretty! But, uh... Okay. Oh, by the way, and yes, I am keeping this thing, ribbon thingy in the Because I keep weird things. I mean, I even keep those ribbons you get on those store-bought cakes whenever we get store-bought cakes. Because, I don't know, I just like it. And also, they feel really nice for some reason. I mean, this is a lovely box. Like, it's an actual box, not a cardboard. Listen to this. Awesome! And look, there's a little bunny sticker. I think it's a bunny, anyway. It looks like a bunny. Oh, here's like a rare candy sticker. A little snowman, all wrapped up cozy. And a candy cane. And it's their, uh, it seems like a sticker, but it's um, their logo. So here is a Sylveon. I won't take it all the way off just so you can see the art on the sides. Here's a Sylveon in like gift wrap. Here is a Vaporeon sucking on a candy cane with a scarf. Oh, here's a uh, Flareon with its candle wreath thingamabob with stars in the back. And Jolteon like tangled up in some Christmas lights. Okay, so, let's, let's get this on with. Well, I guess I probably could have taken it off. I mean, there's nothing there. Good for that. Got some sparkly stuff. I mean, polka dots, not sparkly. And got some felty bits. Ooh. It looks so jam-packed, doesn't it? Oh, I uh, bought the, uh... Not the normal holiday box, but the... I'm not sure what the word was. It wasn't that big, was it? But it was the, the, the biggest one that cost more. So let's first take out the first thing. Ooh, we got a diglet. Diglet. Sand attack. Diglet eats plant roots. Oh well. <laughs> and uh, diglet dig one hit for Pokecoin. Attack again. Diglett lives about one yard underground. So a little fun facts about Diglett. Let's... Ooh, we've got a, uh, what are they called? Tops or something? Yeah, tops. Here we got Squirtle. That's nice. Here he's got, like, his little Squirtle Squad shades over here. It's just a description, really. First appearance, episode 12. Here comes the Squirtle Squad. Oh. <laughs> it's called Who's That Pokemon? Answer on card number 67. Well, um, I'm guessing... Is it a Machamp? Who's it a Machoke? It's one of those. I mean, the silhouette is kind of similar, anyway. It's not really a favorite Pokemon of mine, so I don't really pay attention to it much, but... So cute! And here we have... 
the Charmeleon. Number five. And here's a Poke Trivia thing. What can Charmeleon do with its special fire spin technique? Does anybody know? Okay. The answer is attack two to five times in a row, which is very handy. The fire spin doesn't take off that much. So occasionally it does for some reason. No clue why. Oh, and on the back we've got a Mewtwo Strikes Back collectible movie scene. Unbeknownst to these young Pokemon trainers, their invitation to meet the world's greatest Pokemon trainer at a secret island castle is actually a trap set by Mewtwo. And doesn't that look like he's doing an evil laugh there? I mean, really. <laughs> Is that better in view? Okay, so that's that one. I don't know if you didn't see that better, but there. It's so Christmasy. <laughs> um, what's? I'm not sure what. What's what? What's this? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> um, it's in tape. It's taped up. Or something? A water tower? Uh, I guess you... I don't know. <laughs> oh, even though the instructions are in Japanese, it comes with pictures, which is very good. So by the looks of the pictures, you got this dome thingy. You could put the, the, the stickers on the dome thingy. You turn it upside down, you pour in the... Is that glitter? It looks like the glitter stuff that comes with it. And you pour in some water. And there you have it. And... That's pretty cool. Yeah, it would have been awesome if it actually had... Right. So hang on. I mean, how is that land and flying Pokemon? They like drown in the water there. I mean, you'd understand it when you got the pre marina and stuff, and the, La the Lapras and Pukamuku and Staryu, and then there's the uh, Sharpedo and Corsola, the like Alone Executor, um, Rotondax, Pikachu in a floaty thing, and a. Uh, Growl it. You don't really expect them to be in a water dome, do ya? And obviously that's all gibberish for me. So this, um... Let's just put the tape on that. Awesome! So like, here's like the stopper thing which you put after you put the water in, that's the stopper thing. And this one, it seems, is the Sharpedo Corsola. Oh, I didn't see it on the picture over there, but it actually shows little wishy washies. So that's pretty cool. Wish it was Primarina, though. But still, because technically I hate sharks in general, because they just creep me out. But Corsola's pretty cute. And I do like wishy washy. For some reason, it just looks so funny. Anyway, um, yes, and it comes with a little glitter, which if I open on my bed, it will get everywhere. So I will refrain from doing that, and I'll uh, probably take a picture at the very end when I finish. See, because these this sticker thing goes all the way around. I just in there. So, this is a sticker too, so I don't know where that would go. Maybe in the, in the background? Anyway, that's the first step. What is it? Technically the third thing, if you want to count these two, three, three, I mean the fourth thing, if you count, you get, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, that was a pretty cool little item. So next up, ooh, we got some cards here. We got some top loaded cards. Okay, so I just love that sound. Okay, so here is ooh, we got a evolution seal. 
I really do like these little card cases. They're pretty nifty. Okay, so we have Seal, Bergmite, Snover, Snowrunt, Vanillite. I love vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, anyway. Um, we got an Avalog Japanese. That's a change. It's nice getting, like, you know, other languages sometimes, because I don't personally buy different language packs. I mainly focus on English, but still, it is very nice. We got a Furfru, we got a Flabebe. Ooh, we got a very old, I don't know what set that is, a uh, Caterpie. I mean, that looks so... It looks, like it looks like it's made out of, like, clay or fondant-like. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Okay. Ooh, we got an E-Series Kitty. A Fossil First Edition Horsey. That's cool. We've got a... Really? Is that a base set Dugo? I don't see a set symbol anywhere. Wow! Sweet! Ooh, we got a Koga Zubat. Ah, oh, look at that Froakie sending himself. That was a reverse. And this is the Hollow, which is Dragon Majesty Zekrom. So that was awesome. Little collection of cards there. Love the uh, the old school stuff. I don't particularly, you know, am actively collecting old school stuff, but it is nice to come across some. And you know, I did buy a few <clears throat> old school things at uh, on Instagram on like you know other people's claim cells and stuff. Let me just put this back in here. Possibly, it's very tight fit. So let's see what these are. Um, which one should we do first? Um, okay. Ooh! Palkia GX Full Art. Wow. So. He yeah, doesn't look very nice, that is. I mean, like. It's kind of angry. But anyway. And. We got a Xerneas GX. Okay. I think out of the XY, anyway, Xerneas is my favorite out of the two. I mean, it always, it, it's like, you know, so rainbowy and colorful, and it also looks, well, it reminds me of Prongs on from Harry Potter. That's like totally something else. Ooh. We got Black Forest Fruit Flavored Snacks. Santa Snack. That's interesting. Good. It's got different flavors. Let's let's have a snack, shall we? Well, technically, I'm having a snack because it's like it's 3:22 in the afternoon, and I haven't eaten anything yet, anyway. So let's. Whoa! It's so fruity. It smells so fruity. So what is? What, what, what flavor is berry? I mean, I can get cherry, strawberry, grape, cherry, and pear, ew, pear. But what flavor is a berry flavor? I don't know, let me see if I can get a red one, because strawberry is my favorite color. I mean, not color, flavor. I can't eat the, f what is that? I have no idea. Oh, look, it's, wait, what is that? Is that a dog? I can't tell. You might not be able to see it, but it's. I know it's got eyes. I know, well. It's just dead now. Mm. It's like, you know, gummy like. Yummy. Oh, that is good. I'm gonna get sidetracked. I need them all aren't I? Okay. Let's put it down. <laughs> um, can I fix 
this new look. It's a blue Pokemon band thingy. Okay, here you go. Let's wear it. I mean, might as well. I don't really wear much jewelry, to be honest. Never really found the need to. Because I don't really go out. <laughs> Ooh, we got Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder. Ooh, uh, for Lost Thunder. <laughs> awesome. I mean, like, I, I haven't actually really got around to buying any, like, proper things from it. Ooh, look, I've almost missed things. In Premiere Edition, we've got a Mankey and Primate. Primate and Mankey. 56, 57. Little Pops thingies. I've got stickers of these. Like the full collection of the stickers of these. That's awesome. I need another one. <clears throat> Sorry. But it, it's too good to resist. Look! Froaky coin. Yay. What else is on the side here? Ooh, we got a Pikachu. Um, is that a sticker or a tattoo thing? It looks like a tattoo thing. By the feel of it. Yeah, it's a tattoo thing. Well, it's like, you know, keep it as a collectible because I don't actually do tattoo things. Uh, candy cane. It's a broken one, but still, it's candy cane and it's plain flavor. Yay! Even though the rainbow candy cane would be aesthetically pleasing to look at, I don't think the flavor was too much to my liking when I tried it once. I think I tried it once, but normal candy cane is good. And here we have this thing. Let me just take off the tape. I mean, I don't know why the tape's on there. Okay, so here... Oops, don't fall. Okay. Seems to have been put in each of them. So, smack the pack. Watch and wait. See the surprise. Balloon inflates before your eyes. Shall we, shall we try it now? Um, there's still one more thing in here. Shall we try it at the end? Ah, oh, let's do it now. Oh, did I burst it open with that smack? <laughs> Because it was moving. Maybe I smacked it too hard the first time. I don't know. Because it, it is a bit more poofier, maybe. Now, let me put it on a hard surface. Okay, it's going on my laptop. That's the hardest surface. Ooh. It's, it's going to explode. Is it going to explode? Stop, 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 stop. I'm waiting for it to explode. Do you want to see? It's supposed to explode sometime. Uh, by the way, I bought this. It came in today. It's 
supposed to explode out of the bag. Anytime, maybe. Glasses people or whatever. I mean, like, it's... <laughs> it's just a balloon. Cause you're supposed to smack it, then it goes poof. Like, you're supposed to burst out of the thing. Cause I can, st I can still hear it, you know? hit it too hard the first time because it kind of opened a little. Okay. It doesn't quite burst. But it did inflate itself. Sort of. Ah, it's got stuff inside. I'm not sure what it has inside, but... I hope this doesn't blow up though too. Because that one's nice. But yeah, that's. Yeah. You were supposed to go. But. You can hear it, right? I'm not sure what's inside though. You wanna try a gummy? That was berry flavor. Mm. I'm not really sure what berry is supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, good in it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. But there is no man. Well, we had a uh, slight special uh, voice guest because my sister came home and she wanted something to eat, so I gave. I was nice enough and I gave her some of these and I ate the rest. Now they're all gone. They're really good though. Lovely. Um, they're, you know, four packs of that. Get my hair out of the way. And as I did kind of briefly show you, it does, it has something in it that like, you know, if you hear. That like, I guess makes the air, like whatever that was pressed, makes the air and, you know, inside. So I did, hit it on top of my laptop and it seems that's a better hard surface than my hand because obviously it didn't work on my hand so yeah but still that's pretty cool and I can use this like as an ornament thing because it's got like a little hole here so I can use an ornament and I'm going to what's inside though but you can hear that So, next up is a little hop -it magnet, and that is some strong magnet too, which is good because my filing cabinet is magnet, so I can stick it on that. Lovely job. And lastly, we have confetti, well not really. Nice. Weird. Polka dot. Christmassy polka dot wrapping uh, tissue paper with some confetti on the inside. Which hopefully all stays in there because I don't want to clean up my... Oh, I still need to clean up my bed anyway. Oh, this was a bit of felt too, by the way. But I am so keeping the box. I have no idea what I can put in it, but I'm so keeping it. But this is so cute. Look at this little... Stocking. So cute. And it's got like these little bells. That is so awesome. Huh. So I see what they did. It's just. You know, if I was a cat, I don't even need to be a cat just to go like this. It's so entertaining for some odd reason <laughs> so there we go i don't know what i can put in here what, can I, what should i put in here but anyway 
Awesome. So we have some Guardians Rising, Forbidden Light, Celestial Storm, and another Guardians Rising. Dollar Tree Packs. So we'll open these first before we get onto the Lost Thunder. Because technically Lost Thunder is the last uh, set after these ones. So let's, let's get into it. Am I close enough? Did I... When did I zoom out on this thing? Okay. Hopefully we get something good, because that'd be awesome. I don't think so. I'm being sort of careful. As in, sort of. <laughs> Put that there, and please don't mind the, uh, the shirt. It's, it's my PJ top, because I haven't really gotten... needed to get out of bed today. Apart from going to the front door for the post. Okay, so we've got a Loma Lomola Litwick and a Clefairy. So next pack. Dark energy. Nose pass and a pat trap. Forbidden light. Hopefully I'll do this before everything falls and before my camera battery runs out. I don't know why some of these open differently. Maybe it's a sign. Is it a sign? It could be a sign. I mean it'd be cool if it was a sign. But, ooh, we got a Yuxi, a Fennekin, and a Rockruff. Mm. If you hear my sister, please ignore her. She does say weird things at weird times and just plain weird. And I mean that in a very, you know, Loving sisterly sense. And she likes talking to herself, it seems. Okay, we have a Gorbis. Bell Sprout. Ooh, and we have a reverse rare Groudon. And that's awesome. So, I don't know. Just stick that over there. And that was all for our Dollar Tree packs. So, let's get on with these. Since we have two Lugia, we'll do a Lugia first. Then we'll go on to the Thunder Kitty. That ball clown thing. And I know what it's called, I just can't remember how to say it. So we'll just not say it. It's more in line with me. I'm gonna have to lean over so much. Mm, probably not. And she's singing. Why me? Okay, so we got fighting energy, the electro power, a Christmas deli bird. Hmm. Well, you know. This is the season. Bailey. A cup chew with the snot size. Yeah. We've got Tangela with the balls of yarn in the background. Though to me it looks like he's playing Twister. I mean, I hear right and left foot on the red board dot, you know? Yellow and Vulpix. Snubble. Marini. Skip in reverse. Okay, hopefully. I got some bits of that last part out, because Liz came in singing a song with uh, bad words in it. And after that mini mini clip, my camera battery died. So, 
I'll have to edit bits from her, my sister's, uh, singing, shall we say, singing. Yes, anyway, so skip loom, reverse hollow, um, and, or where is, wow, it's a single F G X full art, epic, like totally epic, and I forgot to bring my sleeves over here, it's so epic, right, and I can't get up because all of this is on my lap on the bed, <laughs> so that's not pretty much a smart thing, so I'll use, I'll use the lid, <laughs> and I'll safely put it in here, and put that over there, right now, Actually, melt anything. Um, ooh, okay. I'll put it over there, which you can't see, and it's, it's on my phone. So. Actually, my phone would be warm too. Oh. Okay, it's on laptop on the non warm part. There. See? Right there. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Next pack. Oh, let me just move these. Oh, man. It's so Christmassy. Just see? And do you want to know where the twin is? The twin is over here. Yeah. Um, dropping thing. Hey, twin. Over here, see? There's the twin. Yeah, anyway. Um, let them sit back over there because he was balancing something. Um, where am I putting this again? Ah. Here. Oh, and as I do say, if I ever get an ultra rare or better, unless I'm really, really, really low on card cards, here is free. Can you read that? <sighs> well, you can read that now. <laughs> so, ultra rare or betters, I give away free codes. So please do not ask for codes because you will not get any. Because I need to actually sell something so I can, you know, buy more Pokemon product. So, here's the Thunder Kitty. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't really give... The only way I give them away is if I get an Ultra Rare better. Ugh, don't fall. Okay. Because I do need to, you know have money to buy more Pokemon stuff somehow. I'm holding this weirdly because it is weird direction this camera is in. So, Skip Lou, Grovile, Brioni, that's cute, winky face, uh, Fan P, Fan P? I thought it was supposed to be Fan P. I have no idea anymore. It's a mini elephant that this one is, what is it, crocheted, knitted? Something to do with strike. A Wormpole, Marini, Yan Mask, Stunfisk, Marini, Marini, Marini Reverse, and it's a different type. And a Tangrowth, regular rare. So, not bad, not bad. I mean, not terrible. <laughs> not as good, but it's not terrible. So at least there's that. So let me just put these. Yeah. Oh, notice we had two fighting energies in a row. Right. Let's just put this on the side. So no reverses go over there. We got this clown ball thingamabob. I mean, so far. Just look. It is so messy. <laughs> anyway. Um, I didn't do the code. Yeah. Two, three, four. Not code trick. Pack trick. Sorry. Oh, it's another fighting. I mean, is this all going to be fighting? Ooh. Ooh, we got a netball. Nice. Kecleon. He looks a bit down in the dumps there, doesn't he? Look at him. Ooh, we got Sightseer. 
an onyx spurring underground spinnerack, a poplio with like little candy. Or if you want to be technical, they could be umbrellas in the rain. Or just whirly dots. Uh, more lows, like the, the magic mushroom. Oh, Chansey, so cute. It's like with the little Pokemon toy substitute dolls. You know? Ooh, we got a Fairy Charm Psychic. Reverse. And oh, it is a Alolan Ninetales GX. And honestly, as I've heard before, the full art of this beauty is one of the most expensive cards in the set. I guess. Still, that is awesome. Because I've, I've, of the, uh, I think it was base set. Was it base set? No, anyway, the other set, I've got both the normal GX and the full art of it. So it'd be cool. So, so far, that's not GX. Here you go. First come, first serve. Just don't hog all the codes, please. Save some for the people. So, the last pack magic, here we go. Please. Be something. Anything. Anything. Four. Ooh, yay. It's not a fighting energy. It's dark energy. Anyway. Um, ooh, got a lampant. It's nice that they changed the art set every now and then, you know? So is that, like, I don't know, hovering over... It's either, like, one of those planes or similar to Lavender Town. You'd think it'd be Lavender Town if it's if it was in that region, but this would be in the Alola region, right? So it's one of the islands that have, like, you know, loads of dirt and grass. Which is a lot, because, yeah, you know. I'll need to relook at my little island map. To make sure, but Grovile. Adventure bag. Carbink. He's got like a little determined face on there. Ooh, Chikorita. So pretty. Scyther. Uh, shout out to uh, Fruit Breaker. For some reason. Uh, Meryl. On exploring two cannon. I don't really. It's a reverse rare, so that's okay. But I don't like him. It. He just doesn't look very nice. I mean, one of the first things that I drew in art class, like when I was less than seven or eight or five. I don't know, but it was a two can. I think it was one of the easiest ones because the beak was most of the picture. <laughs> and. Ooh, we got a Magoonia. At least we ended on the hollow, so that's nice. Do I put a hollow with that? Oh, who cares? Okay, so... We've got Epicness Galore here. So as I said... Oh, well, let's just go through these two. So we got two cannons. Fairy Charm. Psychic, Marini, Skiploom, Groudon, then we go on to the Hollow Meganium, GX, Alolan Ninetales, and a Full Art GX, Sigilyph. Sweet! And that was total luck. Like, all, all the luck of the, luck of the, sorry, luck of the draw, luck of the pull, I have no idea. But anyway, out of four... Technically four packs. We got three hits. Then I don't really really count reverse things much because I just don't really mind much. Well if if I did mind, there's one common, two uncommon, and two rares. Which is good. Good good. But something what a full heart to get though. Though it would be cool if it was so nine tails and nine tails, but so this this guy always creeped me out. I mean well not creep me out really, it's just it was so weird. 
you know? I don't know. I have no idea. But like, it looks like it's got like three eyes. It's got like flimsy wing things. That like, if you put it up against an actual flying Pokemon, it'd be like blown out of the wind. But anyway, yes. That was it. I mean like, it was awesome. You know? Well, not yet. For the entire thing, you gotta, you gotta include these two as well. Lovely Ludas. Then, like, there's some base set and stuff in here. Awesome, awesome. It's good lost Thunderbolt because I need to actually sort out these that I've got here because I don't have probably basically all of these. Because <laughs> so, when I do, you know, for my collection, I try and have three of each card, because I know three is not a playset for Pokemon, because four is a playset for Pokemon, but three is a playset for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, yeah, I doubt I'm going to play anybody, because there's nobody to play in this house, and I don't really go out to any card shops, because they're so far away. I mean, well, Cardiff is, well, on the bus, it's like an hour and some sometimes so we'll see I did I do have set aside some trainer cards for the deck but I've never really been good at building decks whether it's this or Yu-Gi-Oh because Yu-Gi-Oh I just did like a suicide one which is basically a flip effects and life point attacks <laughs> which is kind of cheap I still lost though I think but uh, yes it's all about the effort. <laughs> sort of. So this was awesome. Like, I totally get it again next year. <laughs> just, well, probably half just for this, because, like, this was awesome. I love it. For some reason, I mean, it still smells so good. I mean, the packet still smells so good. Oh, I thought I saw something. No. But anyway, smell. Obviously can't, but still smell. Maybe the sugar's getting to my head. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, this is awesome. I'm, I, of course, I'm keeping the tissue paper. I, I might be keeping that. It would be good for some Instagram pictures, I guess. Maybe. I'm not too. I'm not too fussed. But uh, this is awesome. Sweet. And can I stick these in here for now? Will they fit in here? Yeah. Not all of them will fit, only a couple, so I'll just put the little tops thing in here, then I'll put this magnet so I don't lose it, and this tattoo thing, and I'll put this in here. Of oh, course, oh, this is just for now until I sort everything and move things later. But, you know. put the actually I've got my little case of coins down here. Oh come on. Okay, do not fall out of the bed. Okay. I did not fall off the bed. That's good. And yes, so I'll just put that there. Keep that on there. Put that there. I'll just put this there for now. I will do this. Actually, I've got I've got my water bottle there actually, so I'll do it now. How about that? You can watch me make a mess of my my duvet. How about that? I mean, who wouldn't want to see me making a mess? I mean, I wish we uh, what I put glitter on here already. How did I get glitter on here? things because they stay everywhere they don't go away okay let me put my froakie thing coin away actually would you like to see the coins that I've got you do don't you I mean you might as well 
So, if you're wondering what's in here right now, it's just two, two weird dice I had lying around. Which might have been from a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. I have no idea. But my coins. You can't see, can you? Okay, so, you ready? You ready for this? Oh, now I'm gonna have to actually get them in. Oh, look at that. I actually have... But it's different, yes, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> so, see, smooth hollow and a shatter foil hollow, if you can see, maybe? Yes, a shatter foil hollow effect there. So I am definitely keeping them both because they're two different hollow effects. I wish they made an NT one, that would be cool. But yeah, that's all of my pins. I'm not pins. My pins were over there. Um, coins. Yes, that's the word. Coins. So that, that's like a nice little addition thing. But uh, let's do this. Just because I don't know what else to put in this video. Though it's probably pretty long anyway. But let's do it anyway. I see why. On the back, it's blue. So I stick it behind it. Like a mini snow globe, but it's called a water dome. Same thing. Awesome! Let's see if we can put it up a little higher. So maybe we can see it better. Anyway, yes. That took a necessarily amount of time. But it'd be, it's a good ornament. Like, for your desk. When you're bored, you just shake it. Anyway, that's... And I'm not holding on to it, so yay, it's not leaking. But yes. There you have it. So that... is the end... of this... Uh, mystery box. It was a bit long-winded, but still awesome. 
So we'll check out. Hmm, upside down. Eclipse Vue, or Eclipse Incorporated, for this. They, well, when I, but well, obviously. I think the last message that I've seen on their Instagram is saying that they have the normal sized mystery holiday boxes left, or something like that, I think. But yes, do check them out. Links in the description below. And I'll either post this today or tomorrow. Oh yes, so, yeah, check them out, it's a very, very good mystery box, you totally get your money's worth then, just awesome, though I had to bring back the customs because the stupid thing was, but anyway, customs is not fun to pay, especially when it's near to 14 something. Awesome! So yes, so that's it. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ring that doorbell for notifications. Over and out. P.S. I kept it anyway. <laughs>